So, your name? Lee. And what are you doing today? What was I doing? Yeah, today, yeah. Um, so, I just came down to spend some time with Charlie and Elliot. Um, I heard that they were doing some artworks down here. I was interested in the interfaith uh, concept. It uh, could be really interesting. I myself am a Christian. Forum, and yeah, what is this project about? It's about bringing artists together, bringing communities together. The artist is a, I think, a, a social change maker, and by working together, they show what is possible that communities can interact, and create, and uh, really make a difference. So it's about these individual artists who come from different communities and working together. It's also about faith-based organizations, there are different partners who are part of this program also working together on this big project. So, so many people have come together for this project to happen. What's, what gave you the reason or, the, or the, um, the hope to put it together? Yeah, I think it was, uh, I don't know if you know about interfaith, but it's usually communal and religious leaders who are involved. Um, and we said, well, there's other people that should be involved, and artists and teachers and others should be involved in this work. So we got uh, artists together because it reaches out, I think, to a different population as young professionals, and that's what this event is about, 25 to 45 year olds. Do you do any art yourself or any, any creative things? I, uh, I used to sing in a band when I was 17, and that was fun. But, uh, yeah, uh, I think a lot of our designing of these programs, uh, so we have school programs and things like that, is in itself creative. It's giving incentives to people to, to work together, and you have to be creative in your way of doing it. There's always uh, peace to be made, reconciliation, betterment to be made between communities. Hi, my name is Elliot, Elliot Tucker, I'm a visual artist. Today we've been doing a graffiti wall um, at this uh, Three Faiths Forum event uh, involving uh, all different artists and uh, just different members of the public of different faiths and different people have been expressing themselves, expressing ideas around identity, around dialogue, uh, around just their, just their feelings, freestyle feelings and been expressing themselves on, on this wall here and uh, so it's just been a collaborative collaborative artwork that's been ongoing throughout the evening and the evening is celebrating uh, interfaith dialogue and culture that's going on in London. So talk, us about, talk to me about your work and what gave you the inspiration to, to do these kind of pictures and paintings. I work as a Jewish artist but I'm interested in building bridges and uh, using uh, spirit and spirituality for dialogue through creative arts, um, using art for healing as well, healing trauma and um, accessing aspects of higher self so that we can attain higher levels of vision of what we should be as human beings and as humanity as a collective. And so all of these little projects add together as a, as a big narrative around that, around building bridges between different peoples and different identities. What's the reason why you chose to have this passion in your life to do this? 
Um, well, I think it's important to lead a meaningful life, you know, so that at the end of your days you're proud of what you've done and people, you worked hard and, and make people happy, make people express themselves, make people think about who they are, maybe change some people's lives. So that's what I'm interested in doing. I, I work with all different uh, ostracised groups in society, individuals in society that are vulnerable, at risk people with uh, what would be termed as mental health issues in our contemporary society but maybe it's just alternate forms of communication and arts is a major way of accessing inner parts of the self and of the psyche of human consciousness and, and expressing it in a safe way without anything that's destructive just get it out on canvas on a piece of paper or any other art form and uh, that's safe that's a safe way to translate your experience so I work with all different like that, that and I do it really to um, spread more light, to spread more awareness about people communicating and, and understanding one another and uh, different identities. So talk to us about your art, how long have you been painting for? Painting in these images uh, and what's paint, the symbolism behind them? I've been well? painting for many years but seriously really for the last seven years, uh, like the last ten years serious, more seriously. And um, I basically am interested in uh, idea expressiveness, using colour for um, narrative. I'm interested in things like the Bible, um, shamanism, tribalism, and uh, semiotics linked to that, science and symbols that are linked to those themes. How we can communicate uh, non-verbally, um, that's really important as well. Not even those who speak the same language through our like music. So, uh, so th th that's what I'm interested in. That's what I've been working for many, many years and honing my technique and, and developing my work and, and progressing. Yeah. Have you had many people get involved today with your artwork? Yeah, yeah. We've had a lot. We've had here. Like this is interesting. We've got like a Disney, a Disney style character in a burqa, and, and there's me with all my Hebrew lettering around here as well, there's a Hamsa here and uh, there's like Hebrew lettering as well and it's a school, it's a wall of a, it's a mess but it's, it's an inter interesting mess. Okay, my name's Hannah Habibi Hopkin and I've been painting with Elliot and lots of other artists, we've been doing this collaborative piece. My little contribution here is to a niqabi woman, that's a woman wearing a niqab and she's telling you to listen rather than to look and judge, listen to the words that have to be said. So, um, I didn't do this box here, but it kind of works really well, because I think sometimes Muslim women get pigeonholed, and this lady is saying, listen to me, and don't pigeonhole me. How long have you been painting for? How many years? How long have I been painting for? I've been painting for years and years and years and years. Um, I've been exhibiting as a solo artist uh, for the last three years. Obviously, as a Muslim artist myself, I want to confront a lot of stereotypes and uh, I'd say that instantly recognisable, a woman in a car, you know that you're talking about a Muslim woman. Sometimes you might think it's a ninja, but no, it's, it's a Muslim woman. And so it's instantly recognisable. So I'm not always talking specifically about women who wear niqab, but rather about Muslim women in general. And do you think uh, people are starting to get the symbol and understand more Muslim women more in the UK? Do you think? I think, yeah, I think, I think socially there are people who, who never want to get it. There are some people who are open-minded. So it, it, different strokes for different folks. Some people, you know, listen to other people and learn from other people and experience things and develop their, their opinions upon experience. And there are other people whose opinions are already decided and there's nothing you can do, but I can make my little contribution. So last question, what do you think about events like today? It's fantastic because you don't... You, you bring people together on two different levels. You bring people together on a physical level, people of different faiths all coming to the same place, and on a philosophical level, at least having entering into a dialogue and having an experience.